This is a Move Forever workbook guide, week 26, home. There is a kind of magicness about going far away and then coming back all changed. Kate Douglas Wiggin Whenever you go out exploring, you will eventually feel that compulsion to return to your home, your heart, your sanctuary. There will still be opportunities to move and explore, in and around your home, in and around yourself. Six months into your natural movement journey, you should be able to come up with at least a few new ideas. What can you add to your at-home movement adventures this week? How about activities that help you to centre yourself, get grounded and recharge? Or different ways you can use movement to help you stretch out, relax and unwind. Just don't get too comfortable. There's a whole world out there just waiting to be explored. So let's dive into the workbook and get this week underway. This is the overall layout of the workbook. Plan it, do it and then review it. Let's start with our plan for this week. We're going to focus on three things this week. Maximising working movement. We'll be making use of everything our home space has to offer to ensure that we take every opportunity to move whilst working this week. Space to play. Outdoor play is a huge part of our daily lives, but play doesn't have to stop just because we come indoors. We'll be taking every opportunity to move, play and explore indoors this week too. Get grounded. Our gardens and outdoor spaces can be a haven for relaxation and a wonderful opportunity to build movement into our day and connect with nature close to home. So let's see how we got on. As our home spaces increasingly become workspaces too, we can embrace the opportunity to ditch conventional ways of working and start to think bigger. We can welcome in whole body movement, regular changes of position and fun break activities to make work work for us. Gardens and outdoor spaces come in all shapes and sizes, but there are always opportunities for movement. By swapping a hose pipe for a watering can, we can increase our range of movement and even work on a little strength. And by using hand tools and getting low to the ground, we can improve dexterity and flexibility. However we choose to tend to our gardens, just getting out there is a joy in itself. There are so many opportunities to play indoors, from learning a new skill like juggling, to using props, toys and tools to get the blood pumping and the brain firing. And remember, play doesn't have to be about mastery. The gains come just as fast in learning, practice and failing. Midway through the week, let's see what ideas and inspirations we've come up with. Untwist and unwind. We're going to spend time this weekend on the movements and complementary practices that help our bodies and minds to untwist and unwind. So let's see how we got on over the weekend. We ask a lot of our bodies and minds, putting them through all kinds of stresses and strains on a relentless basis. One of the ways we can redress the balance 
is by allowing ourselves time to untwist and unwind, to undo some of the kinks and release some of the strains. and to reintroduce helpful natural movements, like finding different ways of getting up from the ground, some of which can be particularly challenging when you have very long legs and a high centre of gravity. So let's have a look back at the week and see how we got on. Making space. Making space in the home for play, grounded living and creative working is a game changer for indoor movement. Rugs, floor cushions and low tables make getting down to the ground and up again a regular part of everyday life. These are big mindset changes and go totally against modern conventional thinking but can make a world of difference to our movement potential. Props and prompts. Items such as balls, weights and toys left in prominent places around the home act as fun reminders to play every opportunity. And a pull-up bar on a doorway you use often is a perfect temptation to hang out whenever you go through it. Even using your low down cupboards for the things you use most often will have you squatting without even realizing it. Think creative, not ergonomic. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. And getting unstuck. Everything we do in a day, all of our actions, our movements and our moments of inactivity take a toll on ourselves, body and mind, muscle and fascia. So taking time to acknowledge those impacts and to untwist and unwind is wonderfully beneficial. Somatics, groundwork, breathing and constructive rest are all wonderful ways to start or end the day or to drop in whenever you're feeling a little stuck. As for the weekly checks, I'm arguing for a full house this week. Whilst home might not conjure the same impressions of adventure as we're used to outdoors, by getting creative and changing the way we use our indoor spaces, we can create happy, playful, adventurous environments for movement at home too. Now it's over to you. Have a go yourself. Use Move Forever, the workbook, this video and your own experience and intuition to plan out your week. Then go about it curiously and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to share your progress in the group. Pictures, videos, lessons, ideas. We love to hear how you're getting on. Please feel free to like this video, share it with your friends, or even subscribe so you don't miss future editions. Remember the Move Forever group on Facebook and the resources page on the website. See you next week.